For more than 3 billion people across the world, their main method for cooking is a traditional three-stone fire. This is hugely inefficient in terms of fuel use and produces dangerous levels of smoke and soot which pose a significant risk to health. The CO2 Balance African Energy Efficient Stove Projects replace the three-stone fire with a fuel-efficient and clean-burning cook stove. This short film explains the process behind the new stoves from raw materials to the finished product. The start of the manufacturing process takes place in Mombasa in the eastern Kenyan coast. Since the start of CO2 operations on this site, more than 100 additional jobs have been created at the works supporting the local community. The bulk of the stove is made from clay which is extracted and processed on the site to produce a smooth, consistent product. To make up the different components of the stove, the clay is forced through shaping tools and cut to size. For some of the components, additional shaping is required by hand at this point, such as the CO2 balance serial and tracking numbers, which are impressed into the clay parts while they are soft. Each of the moulded parts are now stacked in sheds for a couple of weeks to allow a large part of the moisture in the clay to evaporate naturally before firing. There are a series of 20 kilns at the factory. Each is loaded in turn. The fragile green clay parts are transported carefully to the kiln where a highly skilled worker supervises the loading of the kiln. The exact layout of the parts in the kiln is critical to ensure an even firing process. The entrance to the kiln is closed with bricks and sealed with clay. The kilns are fired in rotation using waste products such as sawdust or other biomass from the nearby port, each one being heated directly for four days, then left hot for a further week before the seal is broken and the parts are removed. The fired parts now have the recognisable red colour and are sorted and quality checked in preparation for the construction process. The basic construction of the stove consists of an insulated fire chamber with a metal locally forged cook plate set in the clay surround. The locally employed and trained fundi or craftsmen work with a set of parts and an assistant to make complete stoves in turn. At every stage of the build exact quality checks are made to ensure product consistency and accuracy. The completed stoves are cleaned of any excess fire cement before being laid out to begin the curing process. The curing process takes a minimum of four to five days in which time the stoves will be artificially watered to ensure product quality and prevent any cracking. Following a final quality inspection, the 50 kilo stoves are packed and stored prior to dispatch to the project locations across the region. Installation of the stoves is carried out by contractor masons local to the project area. The floor of most homesteads is made of earth so an appropriate place is prepared and a cement base put in place to secure the stove and ensure its fitted level. Every completed stove is photographed to show the unique tracking number and GPS location. This is used both by CO2 Balance for monitoring the projects and by the independent verification and validation bodies who confirm the gold standard or CDM accreditation and carbon credits. The households in CO2 balance project areas receive the stoves free of charge in return for the carbon rights. This ensures we can always help the most vulnerable communities regardless of any ability to pay. With the stove in place, the CO2 Balance Community Support Team trained the homeowners how to look after their stove to get the best results. Throughout the lifetime of the project, CO2 Balance continues to recruit and train local education and support personnel to work with the community projects. 
They provide a point of contact for the communities in case of questions or the need for repairs, as well as ensuring the maximum carbon reduction is achieved year on year from the CO2 balance efficient stoves.